Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we have news about changes in how market research is being done at two social media giants, first at Google, and then a more intensive number of changes that are taking place at Facebook. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by QOASIS, a self-service marketing research solution f created for market research professionals. It is the only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks, and it's free to users. And it's also powered by the expertise of 22-year research industry veteran company Socratic Technologies. According to 9to5google.com's Abner Lee, Google relies on several internal market research services in order to gather information about how products are used. And we're talking about looking at things like YouTube, Chrome, and Android. One of its services, called the ScreenWise Trends Panel, has been renamed the Cross Media Panel. It works by downloading either a Chrome extension or a mobile app for Android or iOS. These apps collect data in the background about usage patterns that relate to Google products. Now, actually, the Cross Media Panel is not accepting new users. It is full and has been so for quite a while. Though, along with the new name, the panel is providing a simpler, richer overall experience for members of that panel, and it has now been optimized for mobile device viewing. Moving on, the Wall Street Journal's Deepa Sitharaman was the lone reporter to read through an updated Facebook explanation of how it conducts research using the personal information it collects from its 1.6 billion users. He was also the only one to actually report about it. The kind of things it looks for include likes and social connections, which Facebook then uses to discern behavioral patterns such as voting, relationship status, and feelings that are created from interactions with content. Facebook's unidentified five-person group that was put in place a couple of years ago to oversee data collection is under particular pressure to deal with research ethics issues. But it is not alone. According to the article, you can throw virtually every other major company that relies on its own membership data for insights into that same grouping. We are linking to the story for you so you can find out everything about it. That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by QOASIS, a self-service marketing research solution for market research professionals. It is the only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks for its users and at no cost to them. And it is powered by the 22-year industry expertise of Socratic Technologies. QOASIS is a substantive step up in do-it-yourself work. Some people are already considering it as a much lower cost, professionally geared system that fits nicely with tactical survey work. Therefore, it saves you on spending that you might have to you have with a consultant. And you can use those saved dollars on larger, more strategic initiatives. QOASIS is also really state-of-the-art. It automatically optimizes your research for desktop, tablet, or mobile device delivery. It supports complex logic control and seamlessly integrates and immediately accesses dashboard quality results. It also offers gamification, drag and drop, and if you need to do analytics, well, Socratic Technology is there to help you get that done as well. And it's, again, all for free. The URL that you see on the screen to my right takes you to the website where you can find out more about this great service. Have a great research day and remainder of your research week with the summer almost in full blossom. We hope you have a great and good weather weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.